about the Great War and the Great Depression. We are also going to talk about the Treaty of Versailles and the totalitarianism in Italy. The three main characteristics of the Great War were, were new weapons, chemical warfare and massive attack on civilians. And the three main consequences were the Treaty of Versailles, infrastructure was destroyed and the fall of the four imperialist dynasty that were German, Austrian, Hungarian, Russian and Turkey. Three important agreements that happened in the Treaty of Versailles were that they, the victors wanted revenge and to punish Germany. Germany had to pay $32,000 million to repair the damages they had caused. They also wanted them to return Alsace and Lorraine to France because they lost it in Franco-Prussian War. And they wanted to disband the German army because they didn't want them to cause another war and to attack France again. The consequences of the Treaty of Versailles were they weakened Germany and the big three were satisfied. They also uh, kept Germany from being happy because they also thought it was very unfair what they did to them and it, caused, it was one of the causes of the Second World War. And the French borders were safe from German attacks. Now I'm going to talk about the Great Depression. Well, the Great Depression was a period of great economic crisis in the U.S. The principal characteristic is unemployment because the decrease of the spending and investment led factories to slow down productions and started firing workers. This caused extreme poverty and people suffering. The main causes are the stock market crash of 1929 because the prices of products went down due to overproduction such as farm products. Too many goods made and not enough people buying, including food, so prices lowered. Almost all of the banks were falling, causing people to lose their savings. Another important cause is uneven incomes, because there were a, different, a great difference between rich and poor people. Uh, the Great Depression was an important factor for totalitarianism. What is totalitarianism? It is that there are dictatorships where governments have total control over citizens' lives. Citizens are servants of government and there were few personal freedoms. Totalitarian regimes occurred in Europe, but mainly in Russia, Spain, Italy, and Germany. This movement occurred from 1929 to 1939. Two of the main causes were the desperation of the people for leaders that took them out of the Great Depression. The other one was it nationalism because they wanted their country to be big and powerful. Mussolini, founder of the fascism, leader of Italy during 1922 to 1943. During World War II, he allied Italy with the Nazi German Party and Japan. Benito Maligare Andre Mussolini was born the 29th of July of 1883 in Pedrapio of northern central Italy. His perspectives in the area were poor, so in 1902 Mussolini moved to Switzerland, where he became involved in social politics. He returned to Italy in 1904 and worked as a journalist in the social press, but his support for Italy entered into World War I, where he broke with socialism. We ha he has drafted into the Italian army in September of 1915. In March 1919, Mussolini formed the Fascist Party, where it was made of unemployed war veterans. He organized them into armed squads known as Black Shirts. In 1921, the Fascism Party was invented to enjoy the coalition government. By October 1922, Italy seemed to be split. Mussolini and his group marched to Rome and presented himself as the only man capable to restore Italy. Mussolini gradually dismantled the institution of democratic government and in 1925 made himself a dictator. The regime was held together by strong state control and Mussolini's cult of personality. In 1935, Mussolini invaded Abyssinia. He provided military support to Franco in the Spain Civil War. Increased cooperation with the Nazi German culminated 
in the 1939 with the Pact of Steel. His declaration of war on Britain and France in June of 1940 exposed Italian military weakness and was followed by a series of defeats in Northern and East Africa and the Balkans. In June July of 1943, Allied troops landed in Sicily. Mussolini was overthrown and imprisoned by his former colleagues in the fascist government. In September, Italy signed an armistice with the Allies. The German army began the occupation of Italy. He was captured by Italian partisans and shot on 28 April in 1945. So the main ideologies for um, Italy was fascism because as the definition said, um, it was a way of organizing a society in which a government ruled by a dictator controls the life of people and uh, which people are not allowed to disagree with the government. And they were also nationalists because uh, even though the, of the destruction and bankrupts, they became nationalists for wanting to move Italy forward. The economic system of uh, Italy uh, will be liberal democratic, which was not able to protect the interests of Italy. The article that were violated is Article 1, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity, dignity and rights. This was because Mussolini promoted some Articles of legislation that were anti-Jewish. Article 3. Everyone has the right to live, liberty, and security of person. Uh, during Mussolini regime, there were like this repress and opposition between those that were against him. Article 5. No one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. Article 9. No one shall be subject to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Article 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. This was because Mussolini thought that it would be good to give power to the church in order to him to have more power, so everyone should be Catholic. Article 19. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This was because it became, he became a ruler and it became a dictatorship.